Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for right around the 24th, okay? So keep in mind the timing is fluid, and not every reading is for you. Had my nails off for just about a month now. Uh, you know, my fake nails, and I've been having them done for years, so my nails are severely damaged. Been about a month, they're definitely healing. They're healing quite well. It's going to be another three or four months before they're fully healed. So I do apologize for the appearance, but I will never get fake nails again. So, uh, anyhow, all done with the fake. All done. So anyhow, what do we have for the right around the 24th? Keep in mind the timing is absolutely fluid, okay? So... What do we have for a message today? I wish I could show you guys my new deck that I'm making. It is coming out so well. It's going to be so unique, but I can't show anybody the cards because of all the thieves. Anyhow, it really sucks because I would like to. Um, anyhow, Ten of Wands reversed and the Sun card. So the Sun card is about happiness and the Ten of Wands reverse is a release. It's making a conscious change. It's on, the, it's on the road to balance. It's letting something go that has been weighing you down, that has been heavy. It's a heavy burden. It's a lot to carry. It's heavy weight. It's dropping it. It's, uh, it's making a conscious, healthy change so somebody is going to be making a healthy change it's a very positive change to in there by letting something go whatever it is that they're letting them that they are letting go they've tried really hard to make it work okay they've they've carried it they've tried they've 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 held on for a long time it's been overwhelming now this is a release it is a release is this, this, this is like making the change it's time to relax this is relief happiness growth beautiful new day breakthrough new beginning um rebirth um beautiful and beautiful 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 so this is bliss okay by releasing and letting something go it brings bliss it brings happiness so this is a happy new day okay releasing something heavy high priestess high priestess is an inner knowing it's observing it's reflecting it's focusing on self it's a very independent card um, Feels like I got something in my eye all of a sudden. Um, high Priestess. This is knowing something. It's reflecting. Going within. Somebody's intuition is really speaking to them. Four of Swords reversed. Six of Cups. Somebody is reminiscing about the past. They may be dreaming about the past, thinking about the past, observing their past, reflecting on their past. That's what we got here. Somebody is really, and this is like a restless behavior. It is, it's a restless energy. It's restless. It's really restlessly thinking about the past. Really contemplating thinking in their feelings. Deep feelings. Deep, deep feelings. Memories. Thinking about the past. Thinking about the hurts, perhaps. Because before the Four of Swords is a Three of Swords, which is separation, the hurts, the pains. You know, maybe they're thinking about the pains that they've caused somebody or the, the you know, the pains of, that they've been caused, you know. But the Six of Cups reverse is uh, nothing stays the same. Freedom from obligation. Robbing of innocence. Um... 
I feel like we have somebody here that is definitely feeling restless. They're feeling restless. It's like they know something as well. I feel like their intuition is telling them, you know, sending them messages. They're, somebody is receiving messages from their intuition, from their guides, or from somebody. They're receiving some messages, I think mostly from inside, has something to do either with their children or their past. Ten of Cups reversed. Not happy. Uh, relationship problems. Unhappy home, unhappy family. Dying dream. Magician does something, takes action to bring success. We have somebody here that is really in their thoughts and they're feeling restless. They are. They are feeling restless. They're feeling un... It's like they're unable to sleep, you know, maybe even ill, you know. Uh, really struggling to take action. But action is going to be taken. There is some sort of... Because magician does whatever, you know, as above, so below. It's interesting because that's the cup I use today for my coffee. This is as above, so below as well. I feel like we have somebody here. And this is a divine connection to source. So we have somebody here that is very intuitive. very And, there, and there's some sort of intuitive guidance here. They have a connection. Somebody has a connection to source. And I feel like they are about to do something. They're, 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 they're highly awakened, highly aware. There's an awakening here. There is an awakening here. We have somebody here that is aware. They're, they're, maybe they've gone through an awakening of some sort. They definitely could have. Um, this, is, this is as above, so below. It's time to take action. Going to do something. Willing to do whatever it takes. Somebody is finding their resources, their inner resources to take action. This is self-awareness, high self-awareness. I feel like we have somebody here that is highly aware that it's time to take action. There's, there's restless energy. We have somebody here that is exhausted. They're fed up in their current situation. They're feeling restless, which is going to, I feel like this is going to cause them to take action. It's like they're thinking about it a lot. It's like constant. I feel like it's constant. What goes around comes around. We have somebody here that has a strong desire for something long term. They're going to be speaking the truth. They're going to be acting from the heart. We have somebody here that has a golden opportunity. They're going to take action. They know that they have a golden opportunity. They are about to communicate. They are about to follow their heart, listen to their intuition, and do something. Queen of Swords, and the Queen of Swords is uh, very authentic. She's very to the point. She's very honest, very um, intelligent. So we, we got somebody here that is probably uh, not happy. Maybe they're not happy with what they did in the past. It feels like maybe they've lost sight of their dreams, you know? There's something about children here as well. So I feel like somebody's... Uh, something about children, something about a decision something about the children maybe somebody doesn't get along with the children there's family issues because of the children sometimes that happens that sucks it does anyhow the queen of swords the queen of swords is a new perspective it's being open-minded it's the truth acknowledging the truth speaking the truth communicating the truth there's some sort of truth that is coming out this is the truth. I don't know if it has to do with the family or it has to do with the children or it has to do with the past. We 
we have somebody here that knows the truth. This is an awakening. We definitely have a wake-up call here. Somebody's about to get a wake-up call for sure. This does have to do with the truth. So there is some sort of direct communication that is coming. Okay, whatever it is, it is the, it is the truth. I do believe it is the truth. Somebody, somebody um, it, it either has to do with the family or the children or the past. Okay, I already said that, but that's the truth. <laughs> Anyhow, um... A golden opportunity like I told you. I knew it. I did know it. I already knew. So somebody is going to be taking action. This is huge. Huge, huge, huge opportunity for long-term stability. This is something you can take to the bank that you can hold on to for a long time. This is security. It's long-term stability. It's long-term security. The Queen of Swords is a professional. Either she's a professional speaker or she's a professional, whatever she is, she does, she's in a professional position, okay? She's very authentic, she's very intelligent, she's very intellectual, she's smart, right? Same thing, all those things, people don't understand it though. Anyhow, this is somebody that may actually be in a professional position. This could be a doctor, a lawyer, a director, a businesswoman, businessman, uh, somebody that makes decisions based on facts, an examiner of some sort, um, a speaker, somebody that speaks publicly, communicator, whoever this person is. We have somebody here that is in a position they're in a position they're probably going to have to make a decision may have something to do with children or from somebody with somebody from the past but anyhow the ace of pent this could even be a counselor if i didn't say it just came to my mind could be it's as somebody that is in a position to make a decision okay this is somebody that uh is very honest and truthful okay she's uh, guaranteed to make a decision based on the facts. It's not about the feelings. Okay. Anyhow, the Ace of Pentacles is a golden opportunity. It's something huge, solid. It's a new investment. Could be a windfall. It's a gift. It's a blessing. A blessing is coming. This is a yes answer, and this is a yes answer. These are both manifestation cards as well. So I think that we have somebody here that has manifested an opportunity that can bring them success. This is yes, this is what you asked for. It's interesting. As above, so below. That's the cup I chose today. This is definitely as above, so below. Somebody has manifested something they have, this is an opportunity of a lifetime. This is, this is something that you asked for. Somebody asked for this opportunity. Yes, yes. We definitely have somebody here that has been unhappy, restless, but this is a new perspective. This is a new opportunity. This is what you asked for. So somebody is going to be getting an opportunity that can grow because there's the Ace of Wands. This is, this is something that You manifest it. Ah! Woo! King of Swords reverse. The King of Swords reverse is typically not a good person. You know, this is not a good person. Somebody has caused another person a lot of unhappiness. This is abuse. I don't know if it's child abuse or... I don't know if it is child abuse. It could be. I mean, it could be child abuse. It could be any kind of abuse. It could be abusing a relationship. It could be mental, verbal, physical. Um, King of Swords reverse is, not, is somebody that is abusive.
abusive relationship. Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is comfort, it's home, it's financial stability. I feel like we have somebody here that has been in an abusive relationship in the past. Obviously. But this is making a decision based on the facts, taking an opportunity, a new opportunity. This is what you asked for. So somebody is receiving definitely an opportunity. They've been abused. They've been abused. The Ten of Pentacles is in the future. I wonder if there's still some abuse. I just got to be honest. This is an unhappy, it's, it's an unhappy home. It's an unhappy family. But this is headed towards long-term stability. Maybe we have somebody here that just hasn't been very logical. You know, they haven't been very intelligent. I mean, you got to think about what I just said about her. It's kind of the same thing. Maybe we have somebody here that has been illogical. They haven't been very smart. They've been uh, not making decisions based on the facts, right? Anyhow, the Ten of Pentacles is uh, maybe starting a business. Um change of residence, building a home, building financial, long-term stability. We definitely have somebody here that is receiving an opportunity that can bring them the ultimate abundance. This is the ultimate abundance. This is something you can really, can really uh, bring up your bank account. You know, it can really, long-term abundance, okay? Somebody, maybe they've asked for it. Maybe we have a manifester here who has authentically, because this is very authentically, asked for long-term stability or has asked for uh, abundance, you know. They've been in an unhappy, abusive relationship in the past. This is a yes answer. As above, so below. It's kind of like that genie on the lamp, you know. Your wish is granted. But this King of Swords reverse kind of scares me. Maybe this is somebody that's really emotional. Emotional because the King of Swords reverse can some be somebody that is emotional, but it can also be somebody that's very hard. What is this King of Swords reverse? Very, I don't know. Ten of Wands reverse. That's what's being let go. We had that at the beginning. Somebody is letting go of an abuser. That's what it is. Because we had letting go. Letting go. So somebody is letting go of an abuser. By letting it go, they are going to receive abundance. So I feel like we have some... This is like... A, I feel like there's somebody that's going to be receiving some sort of communication or an offer. This is a new beginning. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. And the sun card happens to be a yes answer as well. So we got yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. This is what you asked for. Yes. Be open-minded. And maybe maybe we have somebody here. And maybe that maybe this is just one person that needs to be open-minded. Maybe this person... Maybe, maybe you... Haven't been open mind been open minded in the past. There's a need to be open minded here. To be open minded, to make a conscious change, to let go of what you've been holding on to, to let go of the memories, to let go of the restlessness, to let go of the old relationship. You know, there's a need to. There's a need to. Whatever it is that you've been holding on to. Maybe it's burdens. Maybe it's baggage. Maybe it's dead weight. It's time to make a conscious change in regards to your happiness. You're about to receive a beautiful new beginning. A beautiful new opportunity. You do have to be open-minded. You do have to look at things from a new perspective. If you were abused in the past in a relationship with somebody that... Uh, Really, really, really broke your heart with this Four of Swords. Because like I said, the Three of Swords comes before that. You know, and you're feeling restless. And, you, and you, you don't want the past to repeat. You have to let go of those thoughts. You have to be open-minded. Not everybody is the past. Anyhow, let go of your closed-off mindedness. 
be open-minded, look at things from a new perspective. You are about to receive an opportunity. And it could change your living circumstances because of this Ten of Cups right next to the Ten of Pentacles. That can definitely be a change of residence or a change in your living circumstances in some way. Somebody's about to take action to have stability or they're going to be making an offer. This is what you asked for. Yes, this is what you asked for. Just do it. Just do it. It's a, there's a need to be honest and upfront. Ask questions. Do not hold on to whatever it is that you've been holding on to. Maybe it's emotional baggage. We definitely have new beginnings here. We do. We had it with the sun card. And then we have these two ones. We have a new solid beginning. This is what you asked for. This is something that can bring you the ultimate abundance, but you will have to let go of something. You have to let go of something to have it. You have to make a conscious change. Somebody has to make a conscious change to have it. That's going to be letting go of burdens, letting go of responsibilities, or letting go of a grudge even. Letting go. There's a need to open up and communicate. Maybe we have somebody here that hasn't been communicating because of they're protecting themselves. Somebody may have to, uh, whatever, somebody is holding on to something that is weighing them down when they have an opportunity for long-term stability. It's definitely action time. So I do believe that there's some sort of uh, the, the magician is communication, so somebody is going to probably be communicating. This person has been restless. They've probably been contemplating their next move. Um, definitely clinging to the past. And nothing stays the same. Somebody may be breaking free from something. Maybe it's a relationship that has been, hold, been holding them down. It hasn't been honoring their own truth. They haven't been logical. But it's definitely action time. And we do have a new investment here. We definitely have a new investment here. This is something that, you know, it's real. It's real. Good luck.